All right, so we are making a painting of a flower today in the style of Georgia O'Keeffe. And this one I actually made into like a little greeting card. So I just used a regular size paper and folded it in half. And we're going to be uh, painting with markers today. So I'll show you that in just a bit. And we're going to start in the center here of the flower with this little green area. So the good thing, there's a lot of good things about George O'Keefe's um, paintings. Uh, one of the good things is that they are abstract. So you don't have to make everything exactly like real life. And you don't have to make everything exactly like it is in this picture. So I made a little wavy shape there. And then these two big wavy shapes overlapping each other in the middle. And then just sort of following this little bit of the darker area where the blue is. Coming around the edge here, curving out. And back in. And you can just kind of make up your own wavy line. It doesn't have to be exactly as the picture or exactly as I'm doing. And you'll probably want to draw in pencil first. I'm doing this with permanent marker because it shows up well on the video. So now I'm going to make my petal coming out over on the side here. And it's sort of bending over there. The next petal is sort of curving up and it's overlapping this other one here. So I'm going to make a line coming out for this other one. And off the page there. Looks like there's maybe one more curve there. And then somewhere around this point is where that one Curves up and then there's this little green line must be part of the stem coming up there and let's see this other curve for this petal looks like it's underneath that part and then this and if yours your lines don't line up in the same spot no big deal. I'm just kind of loosely following what I have on my other example. And if I need to make changes, that's no big deal. Okay. Looks to me like I might be missing one. Oh yeah, okay, so there's a little bit out here. And then somewhere along here I curved back in. Okay, so now I've got my basic outline. And then I'm going to use my regular markers, Crayola markers. And... water and a paintbrush. Okay, so, and I'm also using a piece of plastic. So what you're going to do, I'm going to start with the green here, the green area in the middle, and you just take your marker and color on a piece of plastic. 
could be just a little plastic baggie. Uh, this happens to be from some frozen pancakes. And then you're going to take your paintbrush with a little bit of water in it and just dip it in where you colored. And then you're going to use that just like watercolor paint. To fill in your area so the next spot I did was the yellow and that doesn't usually show up as well on the video so I'm gonna put the yellow in these areas towards the center of the flower. Okay, and then I also added in some purple in a few places. So um, if you don't have room on your plastic bag, you can just take a paper towel and wipe it. And then have a nice dry place for your next color. So my paintbrush does not need to be very wet. Just a little bit wet is fine. So a little bit of purple on here. And a little bit of one here. And three here. And again, doesn't have to be the same as mine. You could do your whole flower purple if you wanted to. So I'm trying not to let my purple touch the yellow. Just because that's not going to blend nicely. The purple and the blue would blend nicely because they're next to each other on the color wheel. Okay, so now I'm just going to use my blue marker. <clears throat> and now for my darkest areas, maybe I'll take my uh, paintbrush and dry it. Okay, I'm not pressing down real hard, I'm being gentle, but I'm getting most of that water off. So I want to try to make these areas darker with the blue. So I'm really trying not to use too much water in my brush. And trying to get a lot of that marker into these into the paintbrush and then into these spaces where I want it the darkest okay where I want to go a little bit lighter I'm just gonna have more water in my brush I didn't dry it off on my paper towel And then the more I spread, the lighter it gets. Okay, and then I used some more blue for my other areas. And then green along my stem. And then orange for my background. And good luck with yours.